Welcome to Stump Moving and Storage Trainee Program Video 1 How to Pack a Dish Barrel. Within this video, you're going to learn how to pack kitchen items inside of a dish barrel. The first thing you'll do is locate a sturdy surface on which to pack. This could be a kitchen countertop or a kitchen table. Take a moving pad and cover that surface to ensure there's no damage. Then locate your packing paper and unfold it on top of the surface. Take your dish barrel, open it up, flip it upside down, and tape the bottom. You will run one piece of tape across the seam, leaving approximately two inch overlap. Next, run another piece of tape to secure the first one, and finally a third piece to ensure that it is sturdy. Flip the box over, and now you're ready to start. Run another piece of tape across two of the flaps holding them down. This will make it easier to load the box. Now take the packing paper and crumple it up into little balls. Place it inside of the dish barrel until you have a layer that completely covers the bottom. This will act as a cushion so that you can start to load the dish barrel. Take the heaviest items first. In this example, we're going to start with dishes. Place one dish on the packing paper in the center. Take two pieces of paper and fold them over the dish you had just set down. Then take another dish and set it on top of the dish you had just set down. Continue this step with three or four dishes. Then you'll fold all of the corners of the paper in. Similar to wrapping a present. Place the items you have just packed in the box vertically. Working left to right, we're going to continue this. Repeat this until you are out of dishes. When you're packing in a box, make sure everything is tight. This will ensure nothing moves and nothing gets broken. When packing glass, take the item you wish to wrap, lay it caddy cornered on the packing paper, take two pieces of packing paper, pull it over top of the item, then take the opposite corners, pull them in, and roll the piece. Then take it and set it inside of the dish barrel starting on one of the walls working directionally either left or right. Continue this until you've run out of cups or glass. When packing the box make sure that everything is snug and uniform. If you have space left over you can take odds and ends that don't have a match. Wrap them how we've taught before and fill those spaces. Once you're done with the first layer, take packing paper and crinkle it up. Lay it inside the box covering the items you've just packed. This will create a cushion so that you can continue another layer of items. Ensure that everything you pack is packed uniform and snug. Now that you've reached the end of the box, 
you're going to do the same thing you did at the beginning. Taking packing paper, crinkle it up, and place it on top of the items you have just packed. This will create a barrier and protect the items once you close the box. Closing the box, you're going to repeat the same steps that you did to make the box. Close all flaps, make sure that they are snug and meet evenly. Take the tape, run it over the seams first with about a two inch overhang. Repeat this two more times. The next two pieces of tape will ensure the box stays shut. Finally, you'll need to mark the box. If you mark the boxes on top in a loaded truck, you'll never know where the things are going. So we mark our boxes on the side. Starting in the left-hand corner, write the shipper's name. Underneath of that, write where it came from. If you're working in the master bedroom, write master bedroom. If you're working in the kitchen, write kitchen. Underneath of that, you write what you have in there. For this example, we've packed dishes and glass. So write dishes and glass. In the right hand corner, write CP. This stands for carrier packed. This means you have just packed this box. This concludes training video one, how to pack a dish barrel.